Jika hari sedang cerah, Ray pasti terlihat menelusuri sungai kecil di College Park, Maryland. Hey, wait, we, we got one here. That's pretty good. This is from a, a flesh-eating dinosaur. This is from a theropod dinosaur. You can see the, where the toenails were. Dari mana tahunya? By experience. It's just a matter of experience and knowledge. Hobi berburu jejak fosil ini dimulainya 18 tahun lalu. Really, my children did. They took an interest in dinosaurs, and we got a book about dinosaur tracks. And uh, once we looked at it, we were in a stream bed. We began to discover dinosaur tracks. At first, I couldn't believe it. Sejak itu, koleksi Ray berkembang hingga ribuan jejak dari berbagai spesies dinosaurus. Semua dipajang di ruang tamunya yang ia juluki sebagai Stanford Museum. What we have here is the only known evidence of feathered dinosaurs that has been found in the Western Hemisphere. Sementara fosil bayi dinosaurus ini merupakan temuan satu-satunya di dunia. It's a natural cast of the mummy of a nodosaur fossil. An armored dinosaur that grew to be very large and very heavy as an adult. Ray menyumbangkan sebagian hasil temuannya ke Museum Sejarah Alam Smithsonian di Washington DC. Koleksi ini terpajang di bagian Dinosaurus in Our Backyard atau dalam bahasa Indonesia, Dinosaurus di Pekarangan Kita. Most importantly, he's found footprints of dinosaurs that we haven't found the bones of yet. So because he's found those footprints, we know these dinosaurs lived here and we didn't have that information before uh, Ray discovered them. Belum lama ini, Ray mengejutkan para peneliti di NASA karena berhasil menemukan sebuah jejak dinosaurus pada fasilitas NASA di dekat Washington DC. It's interesting that right here are a place I can walk to from my office. I can see something from 112 million years ago. It's thrilling. Nodosaurus membuat jejak ini pada masa Kretasius. Demikian menurut paleontolog David W. Shampel, konsultan film Jurassic Park. He's given us a, lot, a more full picture of the dinosaurs of the East Coast. He seems to have this gift to be able to find these things and recognize their significance. Karena tak punya ijazah dan melalui pendidikan resmi, Ray dianggap paleontolog amatir. Tapi ia telah menulis sejumlah artikel ilmiah bersama para profesor kenamaan. It's a great pleasure. You're seeing something that no one has ever seen that they didn't even know was here, and it gives you a great sense of discovery, which is it's very exciting to me. Sampai akhir hayat nanti, Ray akan terus mencari jejak hingga tak ada lagi yang bisa terungkap. Dari College Park, Maryland, tim BOE.